Well then guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully today, yeah, we can break this down into two videos and give you guys some content because I've been a lazy something, something, something. Oi, leave it out, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got two things we've got to do to them again. So we're going to get it done. Hopefully we're going to do one first, video ends. Another one is going to be for a video on another day because I want to throw some content out for you guys. I've been a lazy... Ah, and I feel like I've actually felt really down because I haven't posted videos. Like, who would have thought posting videos to you guys would make me feel so shit when I don't do it? So, what we're gonna do today is we have got a oil change to do, oil filter, oil change, drop the oil, um, and then we've got a thermostat to change, which is thermostat. If you've got a McGann, this is a very common problem. You'll find your car overheat. Um, I've had it a couple of times where it's telling me to switch engine off, engine failure. So yeah, if you hear this now, you might hear it on the start of the next video because I might add this bit in because depending on what whatever I do first. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and let's bloody get it. Right then, so this is the second part of the video, which is part two, which is probably a separate video for you that are watching this now. What we are doing today is we are fitting this absolute git of a common problem on the Megans. Uh, if anyone's got a Megan, I'm sure it's the same problem on the Clio's as well as the RS250s and all the RS range. Um, the thermostats, they either get stuck open, don't open whatever and cause the car to overheat i've had it numerous times it's probably been like this for about five six months and i've just never been asked to change it so here we go today lovely nice day we're actually ready to go for it so yeah let's show you how to change the thermostat so let's go i don't actually know how to do this i haven't researched it or anything so i just know that it's under the battery slash ecu so uh, yeah it's ready to fuck some shit up so let's do it Right. Put my uh, top off. Right then, so what we got to do is remove like battery, battery cover, ECU which is under there. So to start off with, there's like caps on the side. I haven't really got to like, go through it because I've already like shown. When I did the induction kit, I kind of showed how to set the battery and the ECU out. So um, I'm just going to whip it out, make sure there's nothing there in the way, and then hopefully get to the thermostat. So let's do it. Right then, so cover removed, battery removed, there is like, obviously remove the terminal, negative first, then the positive, and then there is a bracket that goes over the top, undo them two, and then you are left with this, um, so obviously move bracket, bracket, um, I think you undo this, because this is like held in, this holds this in, um, there's one there, one there, and then obviously you've got your ECU, I think you can undo them, but yeah, I think so, um, so yeah. So whiz it off. You got the baby. The baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's made life a lot easier. So yeah. We're not gonna do the typical YouTuber thing where I go, right, this is my thing that I've been sponsored with. No, this is proper hardcore. Fucking Yeah, so we haven't been sponsored with any of this yeah. As you know, there's like 50 YouTubers that have all been sponsored by the one brand, you know who it is. Um Royobi for the win. Right then, so we've moved most of it, um, it's pretty much ready to come out. The only thing we've got to do now is remove the ECU so we can either do the clips, there's three, so there's one, two, three, two bolts, you can pull that away, undo that, whatever, get that out. Then hopefully we can get to the thermostat which is hiding down there, so I'm told. Um, the battery has just run out on the Royobi, so we're sticking it on charge. To be fair, since I've had that Royobi, I've charged it like once. So it does last pretty long. Maybe get a second battery. I have got the smaller battery. So I've been told if I get the big 5.4 one, that is supposed to be the daddy and it's a lot more stronger in it. So yeah, um, that's on charge. We're going to man and lit from now on. So let's uh, see how we get on. Right then, so this is where we're at. So all the ECU, all the battery things out of the way. Fair, I do want to do a short shifter apparently. Drill another hole somewhere, put a little 
nipple on it that goes into the nipple I think I'm not 100% sure if anyone's done this please let me know um, so yeah, I think I think that's a thermostat we're just going to undo it for, for the fun of it and uh, have a look if coolant comes out it's a winner if not I have to do it back up so one bolt there one bolt there and as it's a Renault there is one bolt under there in China so yeah uh, let's undo it right then so we did initially try a span at 8 mil but obviously it's too that's big a ratchet. yeah but now we've got this that which what's that a ratchet or is that a spanner this one's a spanner this one's a ratchet yeah that's the biggest spanner yeah 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 I'm fucking so it's 26 spanner the wrong way as well. So what you want to do is not lose these, right? If you lose these, you won't be in trouble. Yeah. Oh, something's... What's that bolt for? It's just like a big bolt holding. Fuck all. I think that's the gear. I think they, I think they snap, you know. I'm sure they, they snap. The gearbox bolt, I'm sure they do. Mm. Mm. I worry about that, you're doing a thermostat. Yeah, I know, but come on, mate. You coming away yet, or what? Yeah, that's one bolt. That wasn't clean. Can't, can't wait for all that fresh oil to come straight back out. Oh, yes, baby, come on. I can't get to it. Oh. Are you having a laugh? That's all the room I've got to manoeuvre with. Yeah. Oh my god, you're having a laugh at you. That's it. Told you should have had the finger on this, the ratchet. Yeah, ratchet. Right then, so we're trying to undo the. This is where the thermostat is, we think. <laughs> so yeah, we're just cracking it's three bolts. As you can see, one there, one there, and one with great difficulty under there. In Australia. We have removed the Symposa. Symposa, I think, I think that's what it's called. Fucking bullshit is what it is. Yep, definitely. Who wants fake noise in the fucking car? Nah, you don't want fake noise, it's not real. Real bushes and douches. That's tight, that one, isn't it? Go on then son, this is it. I'll put a tray underneath as well, just to catch if there's any coolant that's going to come out from this, which there will be. Um, so yeah, apparently there's only a little bit, there's not loads, might be about a litre or something. Depends on how things put them in time, it's all covered. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's not too much, is there really? That's probably about a good litre. Yeah. Yeah, you're just above minimum. It's alright. So I'm guessing somehow you pull the actual thing out. That. Sorry about the fingers. If in doubt, get the flat head out. Ooh, there we go, Bible. I love making stuff fit in tight places, don't they? These Renault lot. That's it. It's a bit like the oil filter. Just yeah, you, it looks like you can get it out, but you can't. For fuck's sake! Jesus, put it far back in. Boy, there you go. Is there any way we'll be able to tell if it's failed or anything or what? Go get some boiling hot water. Pull it in. What? So you put that in boiling hot water? It, it opens should. on its own. Yeah, it should open. Really? Yeah. Right, so tell me what we're going to do. We're going to basically see if the old one has actually failed. Apparently, I don't even know if this works, but boiling hot kettle water should theoretically open the thermostat. And if it doesn't work, it won't open. So obviously we're going to test the old one and the new one. We'll probably test the new one first to get it to see if it does it thing. And then uh, test the old one. Probably don't need that much water, but there you go. It will ring off the old one. Yeah. Right so this is the brand new one. Oh, it 
throwing up camera stands up. I don't actually know what I'm looking for here, to be fair. Spring should close. Yeah. It'll be at the top here, that opens. Or closes. Is it supposed to be like instant or what? Mm, I'll give it time to absorb the heat, I'd imagine. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I think my finger would absorb the heat pretty quick. Yeah, it's opening, eh? I don't know. No, it does look like it, to be fair. Can you see the sunlight through? No, it hasn't opened. No, it is opening 100%, you can see it. See the light coming through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, does it only open a tiny bit? Yeah, it doesn't open much. Oh, oh yeah, there we go, there we go. You get the money shot there. So. Yeah, 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 you can see that. So that's working. Might as well drop the old one in, you're going to see anyway. <laughs> right then, we'll see if this bad boy opens. Oh, this is like how it's made. This is, you know, the production value is like Poundland's version. But you can see stuff actually works. I don't think this one works. No? Oh. No, no, it don't look like he's doing it, to be fair. Just give it a sip. Uh. Right, is it opening? No way, it is opening. You can see it just there, look. Ah, come on camera, don't do this to me. It is opening. Yep, so. I don't know what. But that just... I don't know what way to attempt first, you know. Just make sure that o-ring doesn't slip off like it to me. Can't really get much manoeuvring, I'm guessing. Bottom bit in first, you reckon? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Mate. Come on, Renault. Fuck's sake, what's this all about? What I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna put this part that's absolutely dog shit in front of loads of other wank parts. Fucking sound. What the fuck is this all about? Got him? Yeah. O ring sound. Yep, yeah, what? And then just push it in. Push it in and start the bolt to make sure you don't cross through them. No. What? It's falling out. It's, it was the, when I was doing it, it was when the last one, look how stiff it was to. Yeah, obviously, it's probably been in there years, hasn't it? See, look, that's in now. I'm guessing when that's all done up. So, if it's. There you go, and start the top two bolts in. Just please don't cross through them. <laughs> Sorry about the hands, it is difficult to show you. It's the bottom one that's going to be a pig in it. Just get the ratchet, zip them up. Should I do it tight or what? Or just... You don't want to do it too tight because you might have to maneuver it to get the top on it. I shouldn't see that one being a problem. It's a lot. I might have to watch the camera because I'm going to struggle a lot with this. There's literally no point filming this. Um, right then, so thermostat is on, three bolts are back in. Um, I would say it's not, it's not hard. Um, it's just very, very fiddly. Um, so I would say just make sure you you're ready to be rattling your fingers about and maybe get yourself a little long extendable magnet because we did lose like the bolt we did lose one of the bolts and but we managed to get it out so 
Um, yeah, luckily I bought that in the past, which was buzzing, so my actual tool actually come in handy. Um, so yeah, it's pretty piece of piss really. It's only like 40 quid for a thermostat and that. Um, so yeah, just putting it back together now. I'm gonna whack the battery in and that, and uh, hopefully that'll be that. Um, we still need to buy some coolant. I'm gonna get some like genuine OEM rental coolant because I don't drive the car. I'm just gonna whack it on the drive, uh, leave it as that, and. Uh, yeah, can't think of anything else really. Um, I'm not too sure if you need to bleed, so if I do post this video um, without adding the coolant, do I need to just take the top off the coolant and let it all bleed out, whack the fans on hot, and then just let it all bubble out, or or what? Someone let me know, please. Um, so yeah, let's uh, stick it back together and see how we get on. Back together. Uh, first things first, we're going to put this. We've done the free bolt. Um, we actually took this pipe off. This is like an atmospheric sound that goes into your interior. Um, I think people swap this for a dump valve, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they do. I'm, mm. sure, I'm sure this puts out like a dump valve thing, so yeah, we're just going to do this back up. And then let's start putting it back together. Right then, let's move everything out of the way. So we got PCU cables. Oh my god, it's so much stuff. Wow. It is, man. What was that? What was that? <laughs> no idea what that was. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll be alright. Book it. Bum such just fell out. So tight, man. What are we stuck on now? Fuck's sake. Fuck. There we go. Yeah. Slut. I'm sure that's supposed to be I think that's supposed to be like that, to be fair, that's that. So it's them two bolts there, I think. Yep, yeah. one there. Probably better off plugging the ECU in before I do that, to be fair, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Any idea which one's bottom, which one's top? I would imagine it. They only go in one way, innit? Not sure blue is bottom. Uh, they've got colours on them. Well, the top one's green. Let's have a look. Do look. I don't know. Man, so much easier putting it back together. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Not correctly that. That goes on there. Then that one goes on there. Red, so. Yeah, I think so. I think that's right. That one's for positive, isn't it? So that's going to go up that, I'm guessing. These ones, they've got to go under, isn't it? Like that. Oh, you've got a Hey? I've got a club. That way, okay. When you see it. So pretty much all back up, we've got the battery all connected, this 
bracket thing at the back, which I don't even know what that does, probably stops it from shorting out and stuff. ECU in, connected up. Um, so we're all ready to roll. Um, coolant is, yep, coolant is low, it's below minimum. I'm not gonna drive it, I'm just gonna start it up just to make sure the engine and all that shit works. Um, we're not gonna drive it until we get some coolant in it. So if anyone knows about how to bleed it, um, is there a bleed nipple or screw or something anywhere on the engine? Um, please let us know, so yeah, start it up. Right then guys, that is it for this video. Um, this one wasn't wasn't the best, it was very difficult because it's very fiddly and hands-on. It's literally three bolts, pull out, swap it, put it in, do it in, fill it up with coolant. That's pretty much as easy as it is. I um, hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I hope you enjoyed my company and I uh, hope I made you laugh more than anything because that's what we want to do. Hopefully things don't get too serious. I won't go moan like a bitch and go in a mood but it has been all right apart from being like very finger fiddly and stuff so yeah um hope you all enjoyed like share subscribe and i'll see you on the next one so i need to think about what the next one is because pretty much i ain't got much left so <laughs> um so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens like i say i'm looking to video some cars and that so if anyone's got some fancy some cool learner cars mad cars whatever um comment down below let me know what you think and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Peace.